In your previous video, I demonstrated how to create a vertical scrolling effect. Let's do the opposite and create a horizontal scrolling effect. Yes, you guessed correctly. You saw this one coming, didn't you? Let's use the example design I have available. Click on the item I would like to make into a horizontal scrolling effect. We want the scrolling effect to go from right to left. In the first image, you will notice that there is nothing there except for one. For this to work, I must groove my images so the prototype is treated as one element for the horizontal scroll. Using repeat grids is the easy way to do that. Once I've selected my image, I will enable the repeat grid. As soon as the green bubble appears, I will drag this to the right. I also want to add some padding at the end when I have the desired number of images, so I will drag this to the next start of the image here. My default gutter spacing is 20 pixels, so I will place my mouse between the two images and the gutter changes to pink. After I see the double arrow, I can make the needed adjustment to the gutter spacing to 35 pixels. To increase spacing, move to the right. To reduce spacing, move to the left. Because my image has rounded corners, I'll still want to keep the special effect on those picture boxes. Yes, there is a keyboard shortcut, but if I use it right now, the rounded corner will become a square box, which is why I don't use it. To enable horizontal scroll, I'll click the scroll group or the icon with the left and right arrows on the right hand side of the screen. Now let's put this to the test. Click it on the play button in the top right hand corner. Take your mouse and scroll to the right or left to go back. There you have it. You have created a horizontal scroll effect for your prototype. But there's a flaw in the design. Can anyone tell me where that scroll effect is? Maybe hint that there is a scroll here when designing something with a horizontal scroll. In the case of two wide gutter spacing, a user might not notice the scroll bar. Here, I'm going to reduce the gutter space by a pixel or two to illustrate the scrolling effect and show a little bit of the next image. If I place my mouse between the two images, the gutter changes to pink. And once I see the double arrow, I can adjust this gutter space to the left by a pixel or two. Now the design is now complete. We'll put this to the test again. Now you can see the next image. Click on the play button in your prototype to see it in action. Take your mouse and scroll to the right or left to go back. There you go. You have created a horizontal scrolling effect for your prototype. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the next hot tip. I will see you next time.